Imagine what it would be like to love your numbers. Imagine what it would be like not to live in a country dominated by elites who are taking a page out of Orwell's 1984. So there was an advertisement before the Fox News video on Fox News' YouTube channel. There's been several ads on this. Here's another ad. So apparently it's okay to monetize this topic, the Iraq war, and what Jeb Bush said about it. For days on end in this campaign, you struggled to answer a question about whether knowing what we know now, I remember, you would have invaded I Iraq. Megan. <laughs> Megyn Kelly pushes one of the biggest lies of our time with the false premise of her question. Knowing what we know now, with faulty intelligence and not having security be the first uh, priority when, when we invaded, it was a mistake. I wouldn't have gone in. We knew then what we know now. Pretending that we learned something after the war started that we didn't already know before the war is one of the biggest deceits of President Bush's crime. First of all, Jeb Bush's brother used the excuse that Saddam Hussein didn't even allow the inspectors in, and I'll show you later how obviously that's just an outright lie. But second, before the war, the intel that they blame was tested and disproven before the war. And that's the conclusion reached by a report commissioned by the president and reported in the media. Very underreported. You could read it if you happen to have read this article in the Washington Post. And I'll put a link to that article in the video description. You could have found out that before President Bush ordered the troops into Iraq in defiance of international law, before the war, UN inspectors were in Iraq and they disproved the intel that President Bush and others were pointing to to make their case that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. UN inspectors had been in there for several months and checked out the intel and that intel was debunked before the war. So do you understand how outrageous it is to claim that they only learned about the intel being wrong after they started the war? It's not only Megyn Kelly. It's not only Jeb Bush. It's all the elites that run our country push this lie as if, oh, I thought the intel was accurate. So that's why I attacked. Well, that doesn't even make any sense because the intel was tested before President Bush ordered the troops to attack Iraq. I've talked about this before. And the glaring thing is the very excuse that President Bush used for attacking Iraq is a provable lie. He has said on several occasions that Saddam didn't allow the inspectors in. If you can remember, if you haven't allowed major media to wipe your memory clear, you might recall that Saddam did let the inspectors in. The first inspections began on November 27th. And they were inspecting for several months. In this video, I talk about the level of Bush's dishonesty. But like I said, it's not just President Bush. It's basically every pundit and politician that's allowed to have a mass audience in our country pushes the big lie in order to hide the fact that the Iraq war was a crime. She also does something extremely manipulative, which is the premise of saying, oh, the people that had family die in that war would be automatically supporting it and wouldn't like to hear that it was a mistake. To the families of those who died in that war, who say they liberated a country and deposed a ruthless dictator, how do you look at them now and say your brother's war was a mistake? Well, first of all, it's deceptive to call it a mistake when it was an outright intentional crime. The mistake was what? Oh, we thought that the intel was real, even though you were being told that none of it checked out before the war? In Iraq, Monday was just another day for the weapons inspectors of the United Nations. For nearly four months, they've examined hundreds of sites across Iraq for the weapons whose existence Britain and the United States say justifies war. And if you look in the links in the video description, you can see evidence that President Bush had intended on attacking Iraq no matter what. Even before he was elected president, President Bush had intended on attacking Iraq. In fact, no sooner did he step into office than he was already bombing Iraq. Concern about weapons of mass destruction was only a pretext for war. It looks like President Bush hoped Saddam wouldn't allow the inspectors in. And apparently that idea got stuck in his head because that's the excuse that he has used on many occasions. Which was strange because I made it clear that let the inspectors in or else we'll remove you from power. And he, he didn't believe me, mm -hmm. sadly. And no one is calling him out on that. 
That's the level of deviousness and sick-mindedness that dominates our society. And the Young Turks is no better. Cenk plays right along with the idea that the intel wasn't disproven before the war. I like her initial question here. Knowing what we know now, would you have authorized the invasion? I would have, and so, so would have Hillary Clinton, just to remind everybody, and so would have almost everybody that was confronted with the intelligence they got. You don't think it was a mistake? In retrospect, the intelligence that everybody saw, that the world saw, not just the United States, was, um, was faulty. Okay, yeah, I know it was faulty, so in retrospect, I guess you wouldn't have done the Iraq war. No, but you didn't answer that question. You said, oh, well, Hillary Clinton voted yes. I know, but with the bad information, now that we know what the real information is, would you have voted yes? Would you have done the Iraq war? So he also pushes the weapons of mass destruction false premise of, oh, we know now. Should have followed up with, yes, 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 but let's try to answer the question that I was asking. Now that we know he had no weapons of mass destruction, and you know, and we knew back then that he had absolutely no link to 9-11, Saddam Hussein did not, right? And you, you know the mess that it's in. So tell me, would you have done the Iraq war? We knew then what we know now. We know then, meaning before the war, the war was clearly a crime. And I've said it before, President Bush must be prosecuted for his crime. It's crystal clear that it's a crime. Saddam allowed the inspectors in, and President Bush's excuse for the Iraq war was that Saddam didn't allow the inspectors in. And he cannot blame faulty intelligence because before the war, none of his claims about the intel proved to be true. All major media, ABC, NBC, CBS, National Public Radio, PBS, almost all alternative media play along with this idea that we didn't know before the war. Even before the inspectors went in, there was intelligence that undermined the case they were trying to make about the weapons of mass destruction. The deviousness went as far as Colin Powell, while trying to make a case for weapons of mass destruction, made reference to a guy that actually was saying that all the weapons had been destroyed. They were misrepresenting the intel because there's been many cases made that the intel wasn't making the claims that President Bush and others were making. But you can put that to the side of debating what the intel said or not. It was checked by inspectors before the war. That's what the inspectors were doing in those months before President Bush attacked Iraq. So please use the YouTube tools to share this with as many people as you can to help expose the Megyn Kelly, Jeb Bush, and like I said, basically all major media's propaganda. And don't forget to like it. You can share it on your Facebook. Let's get this guy prosecuted. Those who have lost loved ones in this war and everyone who's been hurt by what he did. Don't you think they deserve to see this guy prosecuted for his crime?